Do you feel like you can really let loose when you're all alone? We're talking stuffing your face and dancing in your underwear kind of alone time. Don't be embarrassed, we all do it. Ooh, that's bad. Today, we're learning the difference between the way you act in public versus when you're all by your lonesome. When you're out at a party, dancing by yourself is the most awkward thing ever. But when no one's watching, your living room becomes an exclusive dance-only zone. Isn't it funny that dancing in a crowded room full of people is only half as fun as dancing alone? At least no one here will judge moves like these. Luckily, you have that drink to awkwardly cling on to. Would it be really the end of the world if you did these crazy moves out on the dance floor? Ooh, definitely don't do that one. It's okay, Olivia, your secret moves are safe with us. When eating in public, it's all about manners and etiquette. You always keep your napkin on your lap and wouldn't dare eating with your hands. Oops, better get that little piece of bread there. And remember to always keep your mouth closed while chewing. Yes, I just ate my fries with a fork. I'm in a nice restaurant for crying out loud. But eating at home alone is a whole other story. It's a place where manners simply don't exist. And there's no such thing as eating too much. Heck, you may even start dinner with dessert. There's no one here to tell you no, so why not? Oh yeah, that's the stuff. And you haven't lived until you've dipped some hot french fries in some creamy vanilla ice cream. Ooh, hope you washed your hands before this. Eating at home is all about stuffing your face. And Emily here is a true mm. champion at it. Bon appetit, girl, bon appetit. These days, when you're feeling yourself, stopping to take a selfie is crucial. But what if you're in a public place? Without anyone noticing, you can quickly sneak in a little pic and move on with your day. But having a selfie session in the privacy of your own home is a whole other story. Before you know it, one quick snap turns into a full-fledged photo shoot. No funny face or angle is off-limits. Quick, take it before that guy turns around! Oh man, this bathroom lighting is great! Oh, hello gorgeous lips! Okay, I think the coast is clear. Super smooth! Having lunch with friends is fun and all, but what happens if a piece of what you're eating goes down the wrong pipe? Oh god, I can't breathe! It's okay, stay calm, let it pass through! Oh man, that was a close one. Can I borrow this? Don't worry, I'm all good. The key to choking in public is making sure no one notices anything. Heaven forbid you disturb their precious lunch. Oh, hey girl! Yeah, I'd love to meet up later. What time? When you're sitting at home alone, choking on a piece of food can be a terrifying experience. And one bout of choking can send you into full-blown panic mode. Oh my gosh! I can't breathe! Somebody help me! I'm choking! Oh god! Get this cookie out of my throat! Oh, wow. I was on the brink of death. Emily, you there? You won't believe what just happened to me. I legit almost died. Yeah, I'm okay. For now. No matter how funny something is, laughing in public can be a delicate science. You don't want to let your cackling laugh scare people away. But when it comes to laughing alone, all bets are off. Oh no, she's gonna blow! Whatever. Getting coffee up your nose was totally worth it. This movie is hilarious! Why is it that something as simple as sitting can be so tricky when you're in a public place? Between the length of your dress and the height of the chair, sitting the wrong way can end very badly. Wow, Olivia, it looks like you've done this before. <sighs> I should go out of the house more often. What else is home for if not for lounging around? Whether you're in short shorts, a teeny dress, or even your underwear, you can sit however the heck you want. Hey, ain't no shame in Olivia's sitting game. Ah, yeah, that's the stuff. 
Where else can you check your emails upside down, huh? Oh, hey! <laughs> Almost sneezed. That was really close. I'm coming! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you'd better wear a helmet next time, girl. Achoo! You may want to rethink having all those houseplants, Emily. Seems like your allergies are in full bloom. Working out in class is pretty tame compared to the ones you have at home. See what I mean? Ugh, is this class almost over? I'm bored. 26! 27! Gah, feel the burn! All right, three sit-ups are doable. Feeling a little warmer? Someone grab the hose, cause these shoulders are on fire! Wow, I'm pretty good at this. Did my booty change yet? Well, we're getting there. 47! 48! It's a Saturday night, and this gal is going out on the town. Dang, Emily, you look sensational. But you already know that. Ah, a Saturday night with nothing to do. In other words, it's time for sweatpants, cuddly pillows, and stalking your ex on Instagram. In need of a little touch-up? Putting on makeup in public can be a little tricky. But at home, you can put on your makeup any way you like. And the best part? You can be as messy as you want. But if you're at somewhere like the office, you're lucky if you can sneak in a little powder action without someone catching you. After all, you don't want anyone to know that this is actually how you put on your face every day, do you? Alright, let's rub this stuff in. There's an art to looking casual as you rifle through your purse for your lipstick. Found it. You'd never dream of putting on your concealer anywhere outside your room, would you? No way can anyone witness this craziness. Hurry up, Olivia, your boss is about to walk by! Oh gosh, you definitely don't want to be making a face like that in public. Okay, let me see if I can touch up my mascara really quick. Hi, Mr. Smith! There really is no graceful way to put on lipstick, is there? Don't forget to blot! Wow, Olivia, you're so brave. All right, no one caught that, right? And if you thought making the lipstick face was bad, just wait until you see the face you make while contouring. Gah! And this is exactly why putting on makeup in the privacy of your own home is ideal. Perfect. Off to work I go. If you thought you could relate to these public versus reality scenarios, just wait till you see the bloopers. Hopefully you don't find them too relatable. To see more awesome videos like this one, be sure to hit 123GO's subscribe button. And be sure to share these hilarious clips with your friends. See you all next time!